did you have to? Yeah, there's a lot of effects then. Okay, I think magal yung post. Kasi kailan namin i parang enhance yung blood lahat yung tukon, sugat, pati mata ni ano ano. Um, the technique or the style, siguro yung in taste ko sa Paris eh, mas European, mas parang hinalo ko sensibilities ng 90s horror din. Pati yung music. So parang sarap niyang laruin na nagkakarate siya ng bagong form of uh, horror. Thank you. Thank you. Susunodan ko lang din po na yung past projects kasi ni Direct Jet, halos lahat competed in international film festivals. Yes! That's why. So, puro European festivals yung mga sinalihan ni Direct Jet. So, ayan, sa international. Kaya din siguro, ganun po yung taste. Yeah. Woo! Okay, friends? Yes po, question. Uh, for Direct Jet, Erlo po from 725. Hi. Sir, uh, tingin nyo this film is may, may tatapad siya sa mga, alam na mga previous na international bit, kaya na pag-usapan na rin yung international. Yes, I can say yes. Kasi yes. pag gumagawa naman kami ng film, parang, of course, you think of the Philippine audience, but at the same time, you think of universally, you know, kung ano yung effect nyo, pati yung team din nung, nung film mo. So, I guess yes. Confidence nyo. Tito Mario, dumawa na sa press. Yes, Tito Mario. Tito Mario. For Marvin and uh, Jody. Uh, isa naman ang pinagmula natin, ano? <laughs> Gusto ko lang ito, no? Uh, ano yung nakita niyong uh, growth sa isa't isa? From the time you were together, mga bata pa kayo, ano yung paghagang mo kay Jody? Uh, Jody, anong paghagang mo kay Marvin? Now that you've reached this uh, point in your lives, no? ano yung nakita mo kay, kay Ako, Jody? Simulan ko na. Yung transformation. Uh -oh. Um, Matapang na tao, pero mabait at um, um, yung mab mabuti yung puso. Yun yung masarap na naramdaman ko na um, kung paano siya nag-mature at paano siya nag-grow as a human being. Um, Hita naman natin eh, sa mga posts niya kung paano niya ini-inspire yung tao. Ganun siya at yun ang totoong joking. Yeah. May inspire ko sa kanya. Okay, Inspiring. <laughs> Inspiring. Inspiring. Well, um, I really can't say na nagkaroon talaga kami ng moment with Marvin yes. na talagang... Ouch! Ano tayo kaya? Na talagang yung sobra kaming sabi mong naging close kanyan. But hindi, hindi kaila sa akin yung humble beginnings na meron si Marvin. And it is amazing. Oh, di ba inspired? From amazing! <laughs> It is amazing na um, nagsimula siya mommy and then look at where he is now. He's not only an actor but he is also a successful businessman. And parang sa kanya, kasi I was eavesdropping eh, dun sa chikahan nila kami na dun sa standby area na um, I like how he, he values success. Pero hindi success when it comes to achievement. But yung, yung success in a way na para does does what you para, I mean does it make you happy or I think siguro, I guess ang pinaka important na is after all the successes that you have had in your life sino ka kung baga, parang the who you have become is more important than what you have achieved para kung susumahin ko yung Pag-chichisis ka. Marvin, doktora ka harap mo. I know! I know! Sina-psychology ako. Pinaaral yung mga sinasabi. Okay. Last question for the right. Nakakita ko sa trailer kasi si Ping Lai Saga. Ano yung naging mother? Siya yung mother-in-law ni Marvin. Nanay ni Queenie. So, meron din siyang something. So, the past or into the back story. Okay. And John Resilient? It's the free swing of the exercise. Okay. 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 May ibang back story rin si John Resilient. Sige. Which is part of a possession move rin. Kaya may parang may exercise or makusap. Okay. Parang triangulator siya. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Tito Mario.
few more. Thank you. Ngayon naman, uh, we have more questions from Ruel Lidia Porta. Of Pinoy Parazzi. <laughs> hey, Johnny. It was a recognition that I received from school nung, ano po, general assembly namin. So we just opened our ano, our second set. But I'm graduating po next year. Next year. Yes. Uh, uh, tulad nung sabi mo in the past kasi parang papasok ka sa medical field. Yun ba talaga ang target? Um, right now, um, nung nag, bago ako nag-school, that was the goal talaga I had in mind to mm -hmm. go straight to, to med. But, I mean, after ng almost three years ko ng pag-aaral ng psychology, parang in a way, parang nakakapil lang ako ng parang pag-iiba ng direction. But, hindi ko parang naman nila let go yung yung desire ko na pag pag uh, medicina pero ang sabi ko is after na maggraduate ako ng psychology so I'll just cross the bridge and I get there and that's the time that when I'll decide talaga ako ay hindi maging isang ajot ang mukhang limited yung mga pagtanggap ng mga pelikula ah dahil pa sa mga offer hindi nakakapasa sa iyo or sa mga ay hindi naman ka ganon. Um, nagkakataon po kasi na halimbawa meron pong i-offer na film. Kunyari may, may ginagawa ako na, na teleserye. Pero kung kaya naman po i-accommodate at talagang I, I feel strongly about the, the character and the script, ginagawa naman po. Sa social media po, lately Sa social media mo, lately kasi, gumabiyahin ka kung saan-saan. What have you learned sa uh, travels mo na ito? Um, travels and travels. Kasi, kasi, kasi ang pagbabiyahin. Uh, siguro, um, one thing I've learned no, when it comes to traveling, na parang I am just a speck of dust in the, in the whole universe. It's really not just about me, that there are other lives out there. And the more I travel, the more I realize that how little I learn of this world we live in. And there is so much more to explore. And parang it gives me that parang push parang to travel more and to learn more and to connect with people more. And yeah, that's what's special about it. And it's really a passion of mine. What's your dream destination? Um, before po kasi it was Africa. So, since napupuntahan ko naman na po siya, siguro I would like to explore South America naman. Very soon to see it or... Soon to Soon? Um, I am not sure if that will happen this year because may mga pending projects po akong ginagawa. Pero kung mabibigyan po ako ng time at ang pagkakataon bakit Thank you. Maraming salamat dito RK again. Maraming maraming salamat po. And before po tayo magpaalam, panoorin po muna natin ulit ang ating church.